Hi, it's Craig Eddington from Soul Shine Life. And I'm just putting together a quick video about some of the offerings that I'm going to have during this November lockdown period. And um, I'm going through um, quite a transition in my life at the moment. And what it's done for me is highlighted how quickly I've been able to adapt and change course and do that from quite a centered and grounded place. And um, yeah, it's brought an awareness that the, 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 these are skills that I've developed over quite a long period of time from, from being a teenager, a young, quite a young, it's all mid teens. I've always had an idea of where my life was going, what the next goal was that I wanted to achieve, you know, what the next stages were, what I was aiming for in life. And so I, I suppose this has been a long process, but especially over the last 12 years, um, you know, 12 years ago, I was in a, a very difficult place and that was the start of my healing journey. And since then, I've developed lots of skills, like formally practiced these skills and developed them over time. I've been self-employed for over 20 years. So obviously from a business and a planning point of view, from a financial point of view, I was a financial advisor for quite a lot of years um, and a financial coach going back about um, six, seven, eight years ago. Um, so yeah, I've got lots of practical skills that I've developed and I thought it'd be a good time. This year has been quite a challenge for a lot of people and it'd be a good time to start sharing those skills. And I speak to somebody else as, as well the other day and the work I'm doing now with the sound healing and the sound practitioner work, um, I've during lockdown, because we all need to change and adapt, I'd gone back to doing some of the financial coaching online, one-to-one. -one. And what I found was that my skills in holding space for people had developed through the sound healing work that I'd done. So the coaching sessions had become much more powerful. And so this is just an extension of that, that process. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is offering my insights um, and the skills that I've learned over the years. So these are going to be things like, um, there's a, certain things around self-care, what do we need to do to keep ourselves centered and grounded? So a big thing for me is coming out into nature somewhere like this, um, you know, woodland. I just love woodland, especially this time of year in autumn. But yeah, self-care, looking after ourselves and emotionally as well and mentally. Um, so for me, having I'm very fortunate because of the work I do now as well. I've got a, a great community of friends who do this type of work and that's been um, a, a great source of support. So if I've spoken to you over the last few days or if you know you're on my list to speak to, then thanks very much for that support. Um, so yeah, and then I've also got some more formal arrangements with people. So I have my own uh, practitioners that I go to um, to help with my own inner process and um, you know accountability buddies coaches mentors that type of thing so we, we often know the steps that we need to take or what we should be doing but sometimes we can be we can we can put up our own blockages and so getting somebody else's perspective and assistance is always a useful thing to do so I have my own coaches and mentors as well um, so yeah, so that's a bit about self-care and looking after ourselves emotionally and helping us keep on track. Um, I suppose there's also the, the more practical side of things, um, organisation, uh, the financial aspect I've already mentioned, I've been a financial advisor and a financial coach, so I've got lot, lots of systems in place to help me there. Um, and then things like uh, the visions, creating the visions, so saying that I've always got a vision of where I'm going in my life next. And so it's been a matter of sort of stepping back and reviewing all these different areas uh, from a business point of view. And um, yeah, just, just taking that step back, taking some time back to review and say, okay, is that still relevant? Is that where I'm going? Is that where I'm heading? What needs to be tweaked? What needs to be changed? What else do I need to do? Um, and like I say, it's good to get those different perspectives on that. Um, so yeah, so the thing that what I'm looking at doing um, with the 
offerings is there's going to be one-to-one -one sessions where it can be obviously very tailored and individual to you and your situation and we can work quite in depth and um, the group workshops are going to be more um, like I said sharing of perspectives and and ideas and what I'm going to do is be, be, because it's lockdown and um, I know a lot of people are struggling financially. We're going to reduce the prices on everything. So for the one-to-ones, it's normally £65 for an hour's session. And I'm going to be dropping that down to £45. And for the group sessions, um, that's going to be a two to three hour workshop situation. And like I say, be some sharing of ideas, maybe some activities, and maybe even some live coaching. So if there's somebody in the group who wants coaching on a specific thing, and we'll do it live in the group, and other people will benefit from seeing somebody else being coached. Sometimes in the group sessions, somebody will say something, or they'll put something into words that resonates with us, and we haven't or maybe if we haven't thought about something in that particular way or it gives us particular ideas. So they can be a really rich learning environment. Um, so these two to three hour sessions, they're going to be £20 for the individuals. Um, so these are really reduced prices and just looking at making use of this time that we've got available. Um, yeah, so that's a bit more information about what we're going to be doing during the sessions and really it's about how do we structure our lives how do we come up with a plan for our lives so I've got four key steps that I look at so the first one's creating the vision so if we don't know where we're going how we're going to get there so that's that's the first one creating the vision um, the second one is coming up with an action plan so what steps do I need to put in place to help me achieve this goal the third one's taking action, which is really important. And I know something something that I've done during lockdown, uh, well, during the you know throughout the whole from March, um, is I've been coasting quite a bit because I didn't particularly need to do lots of stuff. And there's that thing about getting in your comfort zone, and and like I said, sometimes we have our own resistances to things, and and there's been some of that going on for me. So it's. Sometimes these things come up in our lives just to give us a kick up the jacksy and say, look, come on, get on with this. So um, taking action. So often we, we know what we need to do and it's just the taking action bit that we need to do. So um, yeah, fourth step, taking action. And then, no, sorry, third step. Fourth step is becoming unstoppable. And that's not necessarily in some big gung ho way, some bull in a china shop. Um, this can just be steady progress. Uh, another th phrase I've got is big dreams and small steps. So you can have the big dream and just try and take small steps every day that are going to move you towards that. That's a quite a good way to look at things is, is what I'm doing today moving me closer to where I want to be. So yeah, so um, this was going to be a short video. It's quite a lengthy one now, but um, I hope that's given you a bit of information into what the workshops are going to be around and the coaching sessions any questions just get in touch and i'll answer those as best i can um but i'll put up these sessions i'll get some dates in the diary and put the sessions online um and so they'll be booking through eventbrite and they'll be advertised on facebook and um yeah i might see you in one of the sessions then all right take care